Hello guys, Making Magic here, and uh, I'm here with another tutorial. Uh, you remember how uh, a lot of people were requesting how to make a amnesia style uh, drag and drop system slash script? Uh, well, the waiting has come to an end, and I created this script. Uh, I made it in the past, but I had some problems with it. Now it's uh, it's simple but effective, and it works quite well. So let me just show you how it works. Uh, oh shit! I forgot about that. Uh, so this is uh, those are like wooden crates, and you can if you let me just turn off the flashlight. If you press F. You can bring the crate up. N no, if you press uh, the uh, left mouse button, you can just drag and drop these crates. And as you can see, it's, it works okay. And you can. Sometimes um, it's not. Uh, the problem is not in the script, it's just the collision is uh, bad sometimes, but it works okay. So uh, today I'm showing you how to create this script. Uh, let me just delete this. Uh, I'll be actually making another game object. I'm just removing the script from here. Okay, so the first thing basically what we want to do is uh, set up the crate. Let, uh, as you can see, I'm just gonna delete this, but I'll be setting up. We'll be setting up this up this scrape, removing the component, and okay. So yeah, what of course what you first want to do is add a box collider. That you can do that by adding a box collider as component, or if you have a simple cube, just implement the cube in the game and you can work with that it has a box collider applied to it already uh, now what you want to do is add a rigid body you can just type rigid body as component and leave it as it is you might want to change the mass if you want to a bit heavier but that's okay as it is uh, now the th the second thing what you're gonna do is gonna go to tags and gonna add a tag and plus this is a plus hit and name it cube we're gonna go quite fast today, so cube. We're gonna go again to the to our crate and add cube. As you can see, cube. We tagged it to cube, and now we're gonna wanna go to our first person control. If you don't have your first person control, just go to assets, import package, and you have characters over here, and just drag it in. First person control. Go to first person character. That's basically the camera. What we wanna do here is Add a component uh, if you have, and uh, go basically new script, new script, uh, rem name it whatever you want to, and just pass the uh, the script. I'll be including in the description in pass bin. You'll be able to copy it and pass in the script. Just name it drag or something. But I already have it here. It's drag around. Remember the script is in the description. So basically, just add it and double click to check it out. What it does and how it works. So variable object two is basically a camera that will uh, draw ray from variable clicked is false. This basically checks if click. This will determine if clicked is false or uh, true. It gives us a little checkbox to check on and off. So variable up is transferred to the direction of vector three forward. This basically we need this to draw array. Uh, this is uh, just a variable to uh, to determine uh, in which direction the ray will be. So variable hit is right cast hit. We determine what type of uh, that will use right cast hit to do certain things. Uh, this is basically what uh, draws array. We wouldn't have to do that. We just need this to uh, to see the array. Basically, uh, so the position up is basically the direction, and 
it's, it's multiplied by 5 this is the uh, distance uh, how long it will be you can change it if you don't like it and you can change the color as well if you want to if physics and then if it is and then we check if physics the try cast transfer position the tab if you hit an object uh, that is uh, that is less or five units away from us and if this object is stacked cube and if we press our zero mouse button which is our left uh, key on our mouse left button and th then this hit collided with game object so basically the, uh, the object that we hit it with our ray uh, it transforms the parent that means it's, it becomes a parent of the object too and it gets then in the line in this line over here it gets uh, a rigid body from this object hit that collider get component so the object hit and the set it sets it to kinematic so basically uh, to kinematic means that uh, we basically can't apply any force to it it's basically just in the air and it's true so this means it's kinematic we use an else statement here so if that is not true if uh, whether the object is not a cube or we don't press uh, our left mouse button then uh, hit dot collider the module transfer part equals now this means that it's not a child of any object so it unparents the object that we hit it with our right cast and then the this object uh, is not any is not kinematic anymore so that's the script we can close it now we can drag the the our camera over here and you can leave that off of course uh, so now what we, or you can leave it on it's basically it basically it's not important because it will because uh, it's not determined which object over here uh, is uh, gonna get lifted up or whatever drag oh fuck I <laughs> literally got scared by that again <laughs> I forgot about it uh, I don't know why it's not working because it should work. Create one. Let me just expand it a bit. Okay, it works now. It's basically this problem is just in the collision, but it works well. I hope you like the tutorial. I hope you understand everything. If you didn't, just uh, leave a com leave a comment in the comment section below. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, uh, comment, uh, share, and subscribe if you want to. If you enjoy the content, if you enjoy my content. Thank you for everything, and see you next time, guys. Bye.